Edith was born to Emmanuel Korea and Sarah Gonzalez Korea on Martha's Vineyard, December 29, 1907. Edith Korea was two years old when she moved to Nantucket with her parents. She learned to speak English when she was in the first grade. When Edith was 16 years old, she married Joseph Perry. Edith and Joseph were married on November 4th, 1924. She was my grandmother. Um, my mother was the 11th child of the 12 children that she had. She was like a second mom to me, you know, just always took care of me, always looked out for me. Very loving, obviously, and just um, a strong woman behind my grandmother's house. And there was a big field where we would play as kids, and then we'd run up to the windmill, you know, and play up there. Now, my grandmother, you know, she was always just let us do our thing. Uh, we came home when we came home, and as soon as we come in, she's like, you hungry? You want something to eat? Yes, Grandma. Edith worked at the Roberts House as a cook. She also worked at St. Mary's Rectory, and her last job that she retired from was our island home. My Aunt Esther Gibbs was born in 1911, so when she was a young teen, she went to work washing dishes in the kitchen of the Roberts House on Center Street. And um, Edith Perry was the cook at the Roberts House. That she wanted one day to have her own restaurant. She opened the restaurant uh, in 1943. And that very first summer, Edith Perry said, Esther, I'll help you out. The summer that she helped my aunt in the uh, kitchen of the North Shore restaurant, Edith also had one of her children. Uh, my aunt was sort of shocked that uh, she didn't realize that Edith was that far along in her pregnancy and she said, I would never have let Edith work in the kitchen if I'd known she was about to have her baby. But one day the phone rang and a little voice said, Miss Gibbs, my mother isn't coming to work at your restaurant today because she had the baby. She worked at the Island Home. Uh Trooper, uh, 11 o'clock at night shift to 7 in the morning, and she would work there kind of like as a caretaker, um, helping out the elderly people that were, you know, living there. At this time, she was probably already like in her, I don't know if I can remember, maybe 50s or 60s, and she's, you know, there working and taking care of these uh, elderly people, and she would walk to work every day um, and walk back home in the morning when she got off. Edith's husband, Joseph, bought land on Bartlett Road a little at a time. It ended up being 33 acres of land. Joseph and Edith built a nightclub on part of the land. They named it 30 Acres. The nightclub was uh, the place to be on Nantucket, and the line for people to come in was way out the door. In fact, 30 Acres was written up in the National Geographic, the June 1970 issue. My sisters Kim and Claudia, plus our cousin Robert Smith, was on the cover of that issue. They were the children playing in the field. It was the it was the epitome of the island at the time. You know, I mean, the parking lot was filled with cars. I mean, it was just everybody had to go to Thirty Acres. They always had the best bands, music, and my grandmother would be sitting there right at the front door. You know, as people come in, she's saying hello to people and stuff, and they would close at one o'clock in the morning or something and my grandmother would still be sitting there you know even as the club closed but she just loved being there she was a big tom jones fan <laughs> so anytime like when he used to have his, his variety show on tv tom jones my grandmother would be there sitting in her chair you know uh sweater draped over her shoulders squinting at the tv and laughing and loving to watch tom jones dance and shake his hips you know she loved that stuff <laughs> And I missed that, those times, and I missed my grandmother very much. I remember her and I would sit down and watch TV. Edith's husband, Joseph Perry, died March 7th, 1961. Edith never remarried, and she remained a widow until she died on Monday, January 27th, 1992. She was 85 years old. I think she was a really very admirable woman. And when she retired from our island home, she um, told the newspapers that she had 
loved each and every one of the residents just as if they were members of her very own family. And um, that's the kind of warmth that you find among the Cape Verdeans on Nantucket. <laughs>